Oh, welcome back. Um, you're looking at um the Facebook page of Life Over Fashion. And the company was launched after the, the brutal murder of the uh, a young man named uh, Joshua Wood. I uh, know, may you remember him. This, he was shot and killed over pair of um, the latest, the latest edition of the one of the popular tennis shoe uh Nike Air Jordan. You know your popular tennis shoe came out in the nineteen ninety six. Make that the nine five nine six season. Was the popular shoe that could tennis shoe Michael Jordan were one of them, the Woods won that fourth NBA championship. Uh, well, for this, I'm glad the family had justice. Because when I saw the trial myself on uh, last week, uh, one man who killed Joshua the Wood was charged for capital money. I got justice was served and he got life while pro positive a parole and then when you're gonna try him he just showed a smirk and showed no remorse to the victor family. Yeah he got his last lab and then before he took away in the jail cell you know he had to live with that for the rest of his life and prison. I know other two members who also uh involved the the capital murder case of Joshua Wood. Uh, they had a trial for them coming up this month as well. Because this is always the problem. Uh, why are so many kids every day get killed over a pair of Nike L. Jordan? Because it's the one thing. I don't get all this here, but I'm glad I never no fans of no Michael L. Jordan. I was a fan of Michael Jordan, but not the fan of the tennis shoe. Where the violence had occurred since the very first edition of L. Jordan came out back in 1985. That was 31 years ago. Now, to 31 years later, make that the last 31 years. So many kids kill over the pair of L drug. And their parents, David Satan, one of the victim parents, of course, the parents of the accused murder. Because, uh, because every year during the holiday, I'm going to be talking about this coming up in April. Why so many kids get killed over the pair of lemon edition? Uh, Nike L. Jordan. Why the tennis shoe so special to them to have? Well, they just want they just want uh, anything. They just want the tennis shoe because they all uh, like so much because they want to cry the tennis shoe. Well, I mean, I ain't interested in L. Jordan. One thing I say this about the people who buy L. Jordan, be careful. Um, that goes every holiday. Uh, I don't want to see uh, somebody get fall home, get killed, or pair a Nike L. Jordan. I know sad for Joshua Wood for all his life for Nike over the pair of sneaker. Cause he's not the only victim. There's been a lot of victims who lost their life uh, over the pair of uh, Nike L. Jordan. Hopefully, that video changing. The way I'm um, calling, hopefully, the manager for Joshua Mullen on light or the flash and hold the uh carnival and call, make a change of where uh by tension. I know a lot of people not gonna stop by L drug, you know, and the violence over the man sneaker. But I'm gonna talk about more of that coming up in, in April. I do my tie board against the public school episode about why young people get killed over a pair of L. Jordan. That will be coming up very soon on War Against the Public School. And now I'm um, cold comments time for this 
episode. Then for day cam, you know, hopefully they clean up the app and do not hire people who have a lengthy criminal past. And of course, they don't care about kids. They want to beat them up because they don't like uh, what they the kids. Of course, and another thing, do not be good to kids or threaten a slap on the mind because they not, cannot stop crying. But that is always a problem. That's fine. Now, when I see kids at church, I never touch nobody kids because it's not the way to stop my style because all they only teach them to say what we want. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop playing around. Just, and of course, listen. And of course, the other thing about the young teenage girl who is who being by cowards. Three girls, and um, we post. I recommend you post stuff on video. Think it's all cool. You didn't even know it was adult. Somebody will be out there on YouTube. See the video of bullying. They will report it to police, and of course, they will report it to the school district. You know, the school district did their job. They suspended them. One was arrested for aggravated assault. Met that assault right there. Because uh, these things are cowardly as hell, but some of these kids who do the bullying, they don't show no remorse. They don't respect other kids who get in education. They don't respect themselves. Because that's what happened to me. I was bullying wise. Cause they don't, because they don't like me, because they jealous of me. Cause I got some pretty jealous of people who don't like me. They didn't make it. He had passed out in ninth grade back in high school. They ended up dropping out. And then back in 0304 on 200, if I remember, 235, um, 12th grade, but you all graduated. All those who made it in ninth grade never even made it out of ninth grade. They keep failing because they don't like school. Yeah, you know, what happened to the concrete? You don't like school. You bullying. You already know what your future is on. A career criminal. You know, what you become a career criminal, you steal a lot of killings of people. You already know them. Jail time for life. Well, parole. And, um, you know, unfortunately, the two victims, I you know, one victim back in 2015 was brutal beef for nothing. I shared that video uh, a couple years back. How cowards they are. And one thing I'm glad they did, they rest all five of them. Because they think that this is a joke. But it really is no joke. Because that is destroying Stephen Steen's life. And also destroying uh, people's life. And uh, when they get past and you know, one thing, like good people, they want to end their own life. But don't let these videos, don't let these cowards. Bring you down because they all lose them. And one thing about the uh, the people who do them being, um, they knock about an uneducation, no life. That's all. They got no life. As a matter of fact, they probably do that on um, a bad neighborhood during the game. But you want to join the game? Well, I pray to God it don't. Um, and them dropping down, and then once you drop out, no one going back. And one thing for sure, um, um, for a victim named Mia, a sixteen-year-old girl. And, um, I don't know if you watch this video, Mia. I don't know. I want to send you the message. I'm proud of you. Stood up. Uh, send the manager about the against bully. I know I agree with you too. I were hundred percent against bully too because I, I was just like you. I was bullying every day back when I was going to school, back in my elementary years, middle school, and all the way to high school. So once you graduate, you don't have to see those kind of people no more. And of course, do the right thing. Don't hold on the grudge. Of course, and of course, pray for 
the enemy. So I don't know you all have one prey the enemy, but you had to because it might be too short to hold the brush. Uh, cause the key here, and of course, for 15, 17 year old boy now, an 18 year old man now, um, I gotta you stay strong. And um, he never let no cowards destroy his chance to make it in life. Just remember, bully is a cowardly attack for a loser. Cause just remember, bully is always for a loser. Loser. As I say, loser. And that's all I have to say on this one. And of course, um, we got two more videos I have to do uh, in coming week. Next week, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, the, what the future holds for the, all right now, for the one school district uh, still have problems with the Florida area. What's going on? In the four year school district, maybe talk about that next week on the World Against the Public School. And of course, one last video before I take my three week vacation because the Houston Live Show Royo, if I live, if you live in Houston, then now you're going to be joining Royo, which is start um, the final week of February with the cook off and of course the, uh, the Royo. Uh, that um be coming up for me very soon. But I know you're just a kid of God. I know you're probably working at security. So make a living. But for next week though, before that though, is another impeditation war against Buddha public school. This time will be um the problem of bullying and for follow and of course the problem of bullying across uh, the country. And the final word that next week. Until then, stay strong, keep your head up. Thank you for joining us. We look, we look for you right back here next week on the War Against Buddha Public School. And just remember, leave your comment and subscribe on all hit like on Facebook or just remember on the subscribe at War Against Bullying in Public School on YouTube. And of course, leave free little comments as well. And of course, no hate comments here. No hate comments. Just good comments. No hate. Alright. Um, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.